VR is really important to the future of NVIDIA. The way we look at it is we're building a platform. We're always building off little demos to showcase and highlight the software and the hardware and how they work together and how they bring a more realistic feel to a game. NVIDIA VR Funhouse started out as a showcase of technology, of VR works, and then also all the different game works technologies. And then we realized that it was actually a lot of fun to play. And we couldn't stop playing and we thought, well, maybe this is something that everybody else would like to enjoy too. And so that's how it evolved from a tech demo into an actual game. We wanted something that had an appeal to everyone of all ages and something that was familiar, but actually had games that you would experience at a carnival and then some games that are imagined, such as the Fire Archer and the Balloon Knight and things that you wouldn't necessarily find at a carnival, but have that feel to it. We looked at releasing an NVIDIA VR Funhouse as its own game, but we aren't charging for it. it. It's free, and part of it is to help evangelize what can be possible with virtual reality for other game developers to take a look at some of the things, the haptics and some of the unique things that we've added to help advance other VR games and experiences. And then later this summer, we'll be open sourcing so that everyone can enjoy and build their own uh, carnival game funhouse. Can we uh, potentially expect more games from NVIDIA? We'll see. <laughs>